What the hell did I just get done watching? What's going on, everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Review King MB, and I, what I just got done watching was Dora and the Lost City of Gold. This is a 2019 film that was directed by James Bowden. And look, I'll be honest, I wasn't the hugest fan of Dora the Explorer. <laughs> It's something that I think I was a little too old for by the time it came out. Sure, I've seen it. I know of it. I've seen clips of it. And so I have probably one of the basic levels of understanding of what that show is and what it was all about. This little Spanish girl who not only went on specific adventures in the jungle and had talking animals with her, but she was essentially teaching kids who were watching Spanish. And so overall, I think as a concept, the show is really good for kids. So I understand why it does have the fan base that it does. But when I heard and saw this trailer, heard about this movie taking place, I'm talking about a live action Dora movie, I thought, what the hell? Who thought this was not only a good idea, but thought that people were actually asking for said film? I don't know. And after watching it, I will say that was it as bad as what I was expecting? Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't as bad as what I was expecting. I could have been expecting worse. But it still wasn't all that great either, if I'm being honest. We have Isabella Moner as Dora. And at the beginning of the movie, you see her as a little girl, so I guess the live-action little girl counterpart to the cartoon, because in the cartoon, she is very, very young. Whereas in this movie, you see that her and her cousin, Diego, they get separated because he goes to the city, and and then we skip ahead a few years. That's where we meet Isabella Moner. So Dora is older now in her teenage years, and her parents want to send her to high school, like real school because she's been living in the woods and the jungle all this time so they send her to the city they send her in school and for the most part you have the situation where dora is interacting with kids for the first time other people her age she's interacting with uh, technology and just and just the society that she doesn't really know much about and honestly that should have been funnier Honestly, that should have been better. That should have been more amusing to watch. You have so many movies, the fish out of water story, somebody who's not from this type of area and they jump in and they don't know what's going on and, and they have funny interactions in that way. But you don't get really much of that here. They, they play Dora as just a dumb girl. She's dumb. Ha ha, isn't that funny? She's dumb because she doesn't know what this means. She's dumb because she doesn't understand this way of acting. And I, I just, I couldn't get into it. I did not mind the actress who played Dora, Isabella Moner. She was fine. I remember seeing her in Transformers, was it five? I think so. I remember people when they first put out pictures of her as Dora and people saying, oh no, this is the adult version of Dora. Or, oh no, the Hollywood's gonna sexualize Dora the Explorer. And sure, fine, I guess you can understand why people were nervous about that, especially with the initial rumors that Michael Bay was producing this and behind it. So yeah, if that was true, then we would have a train wreck on our hands. I will say, though, that watching the movie, you don't get a sense of any sort of... Uh, the wrongdoing by the Dora character. You don't see the filmmakers trying to present her in a sexual way or anything like that. So I can I can be positive about that. I can also be positive about the fact that this is a Spanish cast movie. And cool. Cool, cool. It's nice to see a full cast of Spanish actors speaking Spanish at times. They, they don't even always explain to you what they're saying in Spanish. They just start talking to each other. And Dora might say something and they never... You might have another character who says, what did she say? Or what are they saying? But they don't really tell you because, hey, you don't have to. So that was good. And, and that's where my compliments end. <laughs> Because the rest of the cast, you have Eva Longoria as Dora's mother, and you have Michael Pena as the father. Eva Longoria is just there, just to be there, so I don't have anything to say about her. But Michael Pena, 
I find Michael Pena funny at times. I do. There are movies where I see him and I think, yes, he makes me laugh. This was not one of them. He has so many scenes where you could tell he's just ad-libbing, he's just running off and doing his own thing and making lo noises, loud noises, and you're sitting there and you're cringing, you're uncomfortable, you just want these scenes to end or fast forward, and luckily it's not like he's in it a whole, whole lot, but the scenes that he's in, it does always seem to tend to have those types of feelings and um, you get the interactions with Dora and the other high school kids who are their archetypes, nothing really too special about any of them. Her interactions with a grown-up Diego, because Diego was her cousin who they had a bunch of adventures with when they were kids and he was totally into it with her. But now that he's older, now that he's been more removed from the woods than she is. He's past that, and he's sort of like, I don't want to do that little kid stuff, and he gives her the cold shoulder a lot, and I thought he was just a dick. <laughs> Honestly, Diego, it's like, it's your cousin. I know she might be a little quirky, she might be a little too high energy, and maybe that's annoying, but I I think he, he was being too hard on her from the beginning. Of course, there's a moment later on where he does appreciate her, and he's like, hey, we're family, we're this and that. And it's like, well, if you were just like that from the beginning, then I probably would have liked you a lot more, Diego. And and uh, Eugenio Derbez, his character was very overacting, very cheesy, very over-the-top. Uh, that's all I really got to say about that. The whole plot about these kids getting abducted into the jungle. So, of course, Dora excels there. Then she has to find her parents because they're missing and because some other people are looking for gold and blah, blah, blah. It just it seemed so paint by number. It seemed so generic. Honestly, I, I was dozing off and I fell asleep, almost fell asleep two or three different moments throughout this whole movie. There was a couple times where I wanted to turn it off and say, all right, I pretty much know what I, I think of this film, know my thoughts of the movie, and I probably could have given just as accurate a, a, of a review as I am right now, but I did stick it out. I did watch the whole thing just because I said, as bored as I am, as uninterested as I am, as much of a, I don't, care about the Dora legacy enough to sit here and watch it and see how much they're probably ruining it for some people. I I, I just, I didn't hate it enough either to want to shut it off. I, I think I have one more uh, time this year where I can walk away from a movie, be done with it, and not finish it because I only try to do it twice a year. I think I have one more left and I didn't want to waste it on this one because it's possible that I will need it later on in this year. So guys, if I had to rate it, a some old bullshit. That's some old bullshit. I was gonna be nice and I was gonna try to give it, but no, I just, I can't recommend this at all. I can't. I mean, who the hell is this for? For toddlers? For little tiny child people? Even they're gonna be bored by a lot of this stuff, I mean, Dude, anyways guys, let me know in the comments below if you too saw Dora in The Last City of Gold. What did you think of it? Did you like it more than I did? Do you agree that it's just lame? Were you a fan of the cartoon, the TV show? Did this ruin it for you? Or is it all good in your opinion? Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Later!